Hello, this is going to be a two-parter. You know how I do. Right off the top of the dome. <laughs> uh, this part, which is going to be for the drummers, you know, this is, okay. I want drummers to work on you know, they want us to work on a lot of stuff our pocket our timing our, uh, our fills and that stuff I think an important thing for drummers you know my age and even even younger is to concentrate on the music that you're going to be playing I mean I mean I like jazz fusion but <laughs> I'm not gonna be playing jazz fusion, you know. I, I said not, not said not gonna be, but I like jazz fusion. I would like to play that, but I want to concentrate on what I'm going to be playing and what you, know, you go to the open mics, you go to uh, somebody calls you up you know, to do a gig, and you should, you should be concerned with the songs that are gonna be in that genre of music or gig for the day. Now, take me for example, because uh, I'm an average guy, an average drummer. I got a gig maybe twice, two, three times a month. So most of my music is going to be R&B based. Most of the stuff that I grew up on. So that's where, um, that's where I, what I do. And what I do is like I go over those songs. I know them, but I go over them. I listen to them. I play to them, and to see, you know, where I can improve on them. So I, like I said, I tell most, like, like I'm telling you now, you know, take it from the professional, the professional enthusiast. You know, you're professional because you're getting paid, and I'm, I'm always willing to learn. It's some, some, some drummers will probably say, oh, that's boring, you're doing the same old thing. But sometimes you sit back and you, you look at a song and, and uh, analyze it, you know. Uh, I, sometimes I don't like to play songs on, uh, on, uh, on the video because they always want to monetize it. You know? Not monetize it, whatever they want to do, they say you can't play it, you can't use it. Uh, let's say uh, Never Let Go, uh, The Way by Jill Scott. You know, those songs, are, are, I mean, they've been played. they played many different ways, many different styles. So as a, a, a gigging, like a, as a drummer, just listen to your stuff. I mean, you want to play, you want to play. Like I said myself, I want to play the jazz fusion, you know, and one day I'm going to get with somebody that we're going to play the jazz fusion. I'm, I'm hope to be ready. But for right now, I'm going to go over uh, the top 40 stuff. I'm going to analyze it, look at it, you know, see what I can improve upon it, timing, backbeat, pocket, on the same songs and try to make it good. So when I go out on the gig... I go on the, uh, I go out on the gig. I go out to the open mic. I'm ready. Calvin, can you play this? Yeah, count it off. Boom. You know. For example, you know, for for example, uh, I was Michael Jackson. Um, uh, forget now. I can't even think of the name of the song. But you know, any songs that got intros and, and that, that, that allows the drummer to in, to call it call a to count it off, you should do that. So I'm gonna end this one real quick. Listen to your music that you play, the music that you go out on gigs, the music that you uh, do open mics with. Learn that, get that down to a science, and then you know, also work on your your, your, your jazz fusion, work on your jazz, work on your bebop, and then. When something comes up, you say, listen, I can do jazz. 
And you may, you may, you may go to a club that plays jazz. And you go sit in and do your thing. So that's it. That's it from the, the uh, professional enthusiast. Uh, like, su- subscribe, uh, do all that stuff. I'm, I want to try this thing. See you later.